What if your thoughts could travel through the air like radio waves? In the 1930s, someone claimed they built exactly that. Meet Dr. Upton Sinclair. Wait, not the famous author. A different visionary obsessed with impossible things. Mind reading, easy. His radio tower wasn't ordinary. It supposedly resonated at frequencies much in human brainwaves. Or so he claimed. Participants sat in specially designed rooms. They focused their thoughts. Miles away, others reported receiving those exact thoughts. Coincidence? Scientists dismissed it. Newspapers sensationalized it. But documented records exist and they're weirdly consistent. What happened here? Scientists dismissed it. Newspapers sensationalized it. But documented records exist and they're weirdly consistent. What happened here? The experiment faded into obscurity. The tower disappeared. But the question remains, was it real or the greatest hoax ever? Today, neuroscience explores brain-to-brain -brain interfaces. Are we finally catching up to what they attempted a century ago? Some inventions are forgotten because they're impossible, others because they succeeded too early. Which was this? The truth lost to history, but the legend, that's immortal, and that's what makes forgotten science endlessly fascinating. What forgotten experiments are waiting to change everything? Subscribe and let's find out together!